definitely gonna have to steal this in the next facility. This one, y'all ain't getting it. All right. <laughs> this fire, though, I like it. Out Carroll. Oh, okay. yeah, that's about 30,000 feet. I know that uh, you guys are in a few buildings here, so. Yeah. We're moving, man. We're moving. I'm meeting with my guy, Sean. He just opened up his facility, so I told him I'm gonna pull up on him, leave him, see what he got, man. I've been knowing him for a long time. My pops used to train him, I used to train with him. I trained him for a little bit, he done showed us love, so it's only right that you show the people that have showed you love, love as well. What about the work? If you sit in the house, you can't put in no work. If you sit in the house, you can't get no better, you can't grow. So we out and about, we moving. School about to start, so that's freeing up a lot more of my time to move around. People know in the summer I'm locked in and I'm working. I ain't taking vacations like that. I went to Kansas, but that was a business trip. Got to play a little golf, but we was down there throwing camp. So, you know, travel boys, when we travel, we out there for work. So, I was going to get a lot of boys out here going too slow. Good Lord. Why like this door don't work? Oh shit. That's why everybody else. Oh, that's why. Nah. There wasn't a motherfucker in it. I'm not keeping it. And we tried to pull up to Taco Casa. Damn it. Be patient, Suda. Get him. Shout out to LeBron. LeBron made Taco Tuesday, right? Man, LeBron, if you ask him, he made it up. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, sir. And now we can go inside. I promise you, we're going to make it over to where we got to. To be determined. Uh, you see, it's only, it's only 1.03. Sean said he ain't there until 1.30, so we ain't late. We, we make this to us, but we ain't late. We always going to be on time, I promise you that. The uh, strawberry shake for the drink. Performance training. We are here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I like it. I like it. Look at that. This is my man. Okay. Earn never given. I like it. Got the music jumping. Oh. Good, my guy. Chilling good. Sir. Man, I like the spot, bro. Crazy old dog, too. I like it. It's all right. Hey, check it out. I done pulled up on my man, Sean Jordan. It's cool to be out here because not only did he train with my pops, when we got the facility, he was able to train with me in the backyard, and now I'm pulling up on his facility. Tell us about what you got over here. I see you got two treadmills over here. Turn. Big Bessie, right? Yeah, Big Bessie. Y'all, yeah. Big Bessie, this is what I was talking about over here. All right, man, Big Bessie right here is my incline trainer. She go up to incline of 30. 30? Uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. That's why I like to get my sprinters up. Um, this one right here is just a little training, you know, kind of get them ready and prepare for for, the, for, yes, for, for that. Athlete. That's the speed over there. Yes, I, don't, yes, I don't know. I, I ate Brahms just oh, a few I, minutes I, ago. I might hop we, on we after we, test, we, we gotta out. we gotta we gotta walk through some stuff oh, first. We got our machine over here. A lot of my athletes, you know, play baseball, so they don't like to use bars. So they gotta keep locked there. Yeah, so shoulders and all that. Free, free, you know, 
Yeah. We got upper body stuff here. We start moving to the hands over here. Okay. Exactly. Explosive movements. I'll be trying to put cats on game. Like everybody, like back in our day, it was about me and Swole. Yeah, yeah. But everything evolves. Quick, fast, strong, efficient. Love hearing that because that's what we all about. We about explosion. That's why we got the Vertimax. We got a lot of resistance machines. We when we do bench, I don't ever even do barbell bench rhythm. We always doing, you know, um, dumbbell getting, making sure both arms are exposed. Boom, get off of the, uh, the ground. We do a lot of ground bench. Love to see that you got the rack right here. I know they probably got a lot of squats and stuff going over here. Ooh, look at that. That boy got the black turf over here. I like that. So right over here, man, is my testing zone. Need these, need them. Basically, these lines right here, they're normally set up on the lines right here so I can get their explosion for 10 yards. Okay. You know, just like I know, in the 40, the only thing that really matters is that first 10 yards. You're either fast after that or you're not. Facts. So we got a bunch of sleds over here. We do our sleds, okay. bands, cones, hurdles, all that over here. Got you, got you. We got another hurdle over there for hip flexibility ah. going underneath. You know how I'm ah. doing track. I like yeah. that. And then over here, we got the jug machine for my athletes and eat. That's great. Hey, a lot of these folks out here need them nowadays. They be running. Hey, they be running a lot of uh, sprints and doing a lot of push-ups over my spot, dropping balls. This is the player lounge right Ooh. here. All right, so right here, basically, the concept. Come on, got a lounge. Hey, y'all. Yeah. Hey, hey if any of my athletes watch this, right don't here, give them ideas. Here, we got the Xbox place. Boy, we got the, the ball. Chill out. So, eventually, what we're going to start doing is we're going to like, set up like a little bench over here. Okay. Where we can get the resistance. Okay. We are uh, my athletes in here, the tennis players. Yeah. You know, do all that. Then eventually, you know, our kids come for an hour, 30 minutes. Yeah. Like their parents kind of got some other stuff they can do. They can do like a little membership to come here and play the video games. Oh, I like video. that. Once again, yeah. don't get no ideas if you're a TRPT 40. <laughs> We ain't got this for you yet, boy. Y'all gotta catch me online. We play online together, but at the spot, I ain't, hey, he doing it big over here. I like this. So we gonna get our film assessment, you know, check out all their movements. Yeah. You know, I can record them right. Tell them, look, man, this is the muscle that's overactive, underactive. Try to work on those and design the programs. When we younger, we in the daycare. Our parents out there working out. So now when a parent, my hey, I gotta drop them off, I gotta make some runs, right? Cause that always happens. I feel like my parents, when they come through, They'll be there for like maybe, a, depending on how often they come, maybe let's say the first week they come two times. Boom, boom. Oh, we good, we dropping them off and they gone. Or, hey, we gotta go run some errands. And you know what I mean, a lot of them do that. And then, you know, while they running errands, I'll be like, hey, I'm up here like now the last person, I'm gonna let you know, drop them off. But I, hey, we're done at seven, be back. But if it's before that, hey, I ain't leaving till eight. So if you drop them off at six and you come back at eight, then you over there, you know, we got the, uh, the basketball court at the front. But nah, this is fire right here. I'm definitely gonna have to steal this in the next facility. This one, y'all ain't getting it. This fire though, I like it. Months on the six. Two months you've been out here on the six. I like it. The TVs are nice. Got good equipment everywhere. Back here. I call this the nothing room because you said the nothing. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Well, right now I got a car right here. Okay. It's gonna come and lease this part of the facility out. So right now I'm just kind of leaving it how it is. And letting so them pull off. Do. Yeah. All athletes get hurt. Yes, that is a part of the game we play as an athlete. Uh, we go in here, we got the table set up right here for yeah. stretching, uh, massage therapy if you need, like some, you know, just quick little something. Okay. So we're going to get a massage therapist in here eventually. So, Smart. Percussion, uh, pressure, compression. We got a little cryo machine right here. Man. Still to make sure all my athletes are the right, you know, right weight and all that. And we got a couple of my athletes lined up against the floor. There's a lot of athletes that eventually I'll put them on the wall. Okay. I've just been here a month. It's a big building. Everything. Exactly. This is nice, though. Yeah. yeah. Any of my athletes get seriously injured, then we make sure we get them in here with the oxygen pressure and speed up the healing process. Okay. It's a little cooler right here in case it's too hot in here. I can throw ice in there. And then, and like AC units. Gotcha. This is what uh, T.O. was in right before the uh, Super Bowl when he broke his ankle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Russell Wilson got three of them in his house. Uh, a couple other players, another Braun Benham, like I said, Tom. Yeah, how, have you, uh, how often do you do it? Or like, is it just 
when, like I said, are you just using it um, so when can, people are getting hurt like that, or do you just be like, hey, I'm sore today, let me jump hey, up with so him. You can, you can really jump in here for anything, man. This thing don't just work with athletes, so it helps with people with Alzheimer's, dementia, uh, cancer, okay. erectile dysfunction, anything with your skin, any oxidative, you know, going through your veins, all that type of stuff. Okay. Those veins. So it kind of helps open up that vascular system with the pressure. And oxygen That's kind of it. So if it's only you, can you zip it up from the inside? Yeah. Okay, I was assuming. I mean, this. There, watch I feel like I'm. Look, I got this. <laughs> feel like somebody might try to leave me up in there. So the only time I did get in it, it was at like three o'clock in the morning. I was in yeah. by myself in the gym, and I was kind of like at the 45 minute mark to start getting sleep. So yeah. Like, man, let me get up out of here. I don't know if it's the chamber or if it's yeah. three o'clock in the morning. So exactly. I got up out of it, man. But you know, my people come in, they be cool. Um, I ain't have no complaints. I just love them going there, watching YouTube, you know, like yeah. Netflix, and just, just rock with it, man. How long do they usually be in there? 60, uh, 30 to 60 minutes. Okay. Yeah, but you can be in there eight hours if you need to. It's just awesome. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's nice right there. This is a little lobby area right here. Man, one in the restroom. And then here eventually I have a smoothie shop, meal prep, all that type of stuff, you know, pre-made meals. Okay. So my athletes, they don't gotta run to the smoothie shop. Yeah, that's how I need to be. Or Brahms like me. Brahms, what we gonna do outside? That boy got rooms and rooms and rooms. Bro, this boy got a house. It's perfect. Like I said, if I was gonna do it, man, I ain't wanna waste my time. I wanted to get exactly what I wanted. Exactly. Set it up, get the athletes, everything. They just came out here, level the ground. Okay. Okay. Time the athletes in at 440. Uh huh. Sand pit over there. That's what we looking towards. Um, doing on um, the sand pit for sure. Yeah. Man, that sand work is amazing. Yeah, and I know, I know you got a lot of, a lot of traction with the baseball players, man. Y'all gotta excuse the wind been blowing stuff. Nah, you good, you good. Nah, you good. My locker's over here on the ground, but eventually this is gonna be my baseball area. I'm gonna set up a mound. Okay. Smart, smart. You know what I mean? So we can kind of bounce on whatever athlete was for. Like you like you said, you didn't wanna half step and you ain't half step at all. You went above and beyond. Boys get to play the game when their parents is late. That's all you need to know. I look at it like this, man. We look at the news, we see all this nonsense going out there, man. This is safe paper. 100%. Yeah, be out there partying. Eventually, um, I just got the projector, so we're going to have like motivational movie night. We watch stuff yeah. like that. All that. We'll watch film, all of that in there on the big screen. Once yeah. it comes, man. So I just want this to be a place to kind of keep everybody from out there. So the only time I see them on the news is doing something good. And you got everything they need in there to be successful on the field, off the field, to have a good time, making it family friendly. That That's cold right there. Like, I can literally see, like, I, I know I've had parties at my spot. Yeah, yeah. I can already know <laughs> that people gonna be like, hey, can we rent out the game room and go in there? And like, yeah, your stuff is set up for a lot. Hey, make sure y'all come out here with the camera. On September 3rd, we're gonna have our first match. Be, being a businessman and thinking, I'm like, oh yeah, you got this set up. That's why I wanted to reach out to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I man. think I think me, you, Shep, put yeah. together, brother. Yeah, no, that's the big thing. Uh, me, you, Shep. Uh, we'll do a video with my boy, Lil Shep Blash, Corey Shepard. He right down the street between what we doing in Forney, yeah. what y'all doing out here. He was literally like a 15 minute, 18 minute drive, so it ain't like it's out of the way for nobody. But yeah, we definitely gonna have to put some stuff together just because of it. Shep is like family. You like facility. family. Your facility crazy. Obviously, we got what we got in Forney, so. Yeah, we definitely gonna have to do some stuff. Yeah. It'll probably be about a month. Yeah. A month, because usually the first two weeks of school, everybody's trying to figure out what their schedule is. When does my kid get out of football? My daughter's cheerleading over here. So I actually love when school start, because I know I'm gonna get about two weeks of, I'm gonna still be training, but a lot of people will be like, hey, I know we were going like, for instance, right now I train at seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two. But then all that obviously goes away, and now they gotta reconfigure their schedule and I reconfigure everything to the afternoons and evenings. So about a month, it takes about two good weeks, right? First week ain't nothing really happening. Second week that schedule kind of gets what really school is and then everybody's like, hey, can I get this? Ah, them spots to filled up because now you have all day to train. It's so inefficient, older yeah. buildings, right? So it just yeah. takes so much to yeah, uh, yeah. try and keep them cool. cool yeah. And so my middle one was done a little better and, and it got it, the outside school. Uh, just 
It is what it is. You here for one hour. I tell them kids and the parents, bro, when y'all play baseball, y'all play at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 1 a.m., 5 and 8. And all day you out there in that sun. Your son can make it for one hour in here. We're gonna miss the fan and fans on them. I'm gonna get you with the kids. Yeah, yeah, that ain't. You hear that? Hey, that ain't. That boy said, I'm gonna get you where the kids be on. Ah. Oh, yeah, that's it. What size shoe you wear, shooter? Ah, I'm good, bro. I don't think my belly can take nothing else. Told y'all I was gonna jump on Big Bessie. Then I hit Brahms. If y'all lucky, we gonna have them. Oh, come on, bro. Got the Jordans. Got a fresh pair of Nikes. Another fresh pair of Nikes. Nikes. Uh oh. That's one of them. Uh oh. That's two of them. I ain't gonna lie though. My quads is tight, shooter. They in trouble, Sean. I had some. See how I just slid them Jones on? Not for Big Bessie. We retiring. Uh, we retiring these things. Trying to go viral that much. I'm a small business person too. It just is what it is. You got the waivers and all that. You fall out up in here, I'm rolling you out the front door. He <laughs> fell right before he made it in the facility. Crazy. I don't own this spot. That's 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 the uh, city. Oh. 12 speed, 19.5, big Bessie, bronze in my stomach. I'm ready to rock and roll. Let me see y'all. Oh yeah, I got the grip too. Ah, ah, ah. He said 20 up. Ooh, that. I'm at two seconds, bro. Ah, 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 he said 20 seconds. The first two seconds they move on the clock. I'm like, ain't no way I'm making 20. Hey, Good you Lord. Good, you got wheels, you said, I got a little, hey. I just got, I don't got a 40 no more. Yeah. I got a 20 yard dash on y'all. I'm gonna have to have my boy James Harden. You gonna see my stuff? Yeah, yeah, I see. We got the race with T.O. we trying to set up. Okay, okay. He gotta come over here. Okay. We, we trying to take them racks up off T.O. Okay. Two, two thousand dollar bet. What are, you, what are you running about? Four, five, four, four, three, four, four? Depending on the start. He ain't never really ran no real 40s. Facts. He ain't really ran no 40s like that. So, um, depending on the day. We got a video coming out with him. Dude, so explosive. He just got to understand how to use it. You still playing arena ball? Um, the FCF League with T.O. and Johnny and them. And then that league's over. He tried it out for, um, it's huge. Yeah. Excuse yeah. the talk. <laughs> well, like, hey, yeah. too big to rip the crap. He's trying to get on himself again. <laughs> um, T.O. and them. And then uh, he tried out for the XFL. Okay. I don't know if anything came back from that yet, yeah, but he trying. That's why we got to roll T.O. Put that marketing plan yeah, out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. If he take a fight on, on social media, he'll be out there. Good Lord. Yeah, man, I told you I need, that's my baby right there. I need, I need to sit down. You see when boys just start looking for stuff? Grab your drink, man. Boys start looking for stuff. Hey. Shoot. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't wanna do nothing else. I might miss this, man. Y'all ready to do it? Y'all good, don't mind us, cause we done. This episode done. Hey, this the vlog. <laughs> This is another episode on the channel. He done put me on Big Bessie. I'm glad that this young lady came in because she done saved me. I ain't supposed to be working out this hard for no YouTube videos. I just want to showcase what he got, not for him to kill me. She she, she looked like she great, so she can take that. Hey, this is my man, Sean. He's out in Rockwall. Let him know where, you, where they can find you. Here and on social media, we out of this thing. I'm tired, y'all get off of my face. Get to him. SJTPT 615 National Drive, Rockwall, Texas. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram. I really don't know my Instagram like that because I ain't a social media guy. That's why my man DP is here. But just we'll tag on Jordan, you'll figure it out, man.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go. Go. We out, bro. <laughs> 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 Definitely, we're gonna need that for the thumbnail anyway. Yes, hey, I'm so, uh, so tired, I'm about to get it off. We're gonna be walking home. Good Lord. Almost forgot my phone, almost forgot dang car keys. Oh, big mess, I'm gonna have to keep her ass away from me. <laughs> Just a bit, I'm gonna suck on her ass. Hey that's, hey, that's why you don't drink sodas, athletes. That's why you don't eat bombs, why you don't eat bad food, especially right before the workout. Like I said, do as I say, not as I do. But I promise y'all, next time I pull up, I'ma go 19.5 on Big Bessie. 12 miles per hour. 20. 30 seconds.